How's it going guys? Today I'm going to do a quick comparison of the two omnibuses of Daredevil by Mark Wade, and let's get right into it. First up is going to be the first Daredevil one. I really enjoyed this series when it was coming out on singles. Here's the front, spine, back. It collects issues of 1 through 27 and 10.1, Amazing Spider-Man 677 and Amazing Spider-Man issue 6. And the Punisher issue 10. Retail price is $100. Here's how it looks without the dust jacket. And here's the wraparound. So not too bad. And then here's going to be the second one. Here's how it looks with the dust jacket on there. The spine. Back. Retail price is about $100. Collects issues of Daredevil 28 through 36, and Destructible Hulk 9 through 10, and Daredevil 1 through 18, 1.5, and 0 0.1, and 15.1. Really enjoyed this series by Mark Way. And then here's how it looks without the dust jacket. And then here's the wraparound. Then here's how it looks with both of them. So I really think they did a nice detail on the covers of the omnibuses. As you can see, this would be what would Daredevil see. And it's just pretty much just red, if you could see at all. Just by the frequency. And then here's the first book, what it holds. I think I enjoyed the second one more than the first one. And then I think in this series, this is when Daredevil gets out of Hell's Kitchen and goes to San Francisco. I think. I'm pretty sure he does. And then. And then he has some fights with Electra, the Stilt Man. I really think the art is awesome too. I think it was Chris Samney that did the art. I don't know who else did it, but I think the majority of it was by Chris Samney. And then, doo -doo 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 -doo, here's some of the covers. I think Alex Ross did a nice cover. Yep, he did. So yeah, those are the two Daredevil omnibuses by Mark Wade. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks. Take care. Bye.